All right. Peace to everyone. Peace to everyone. Today, today's broadcast is going to be really, really interesting. Um, I hope y'all can handle it. All right. Um, this is the Islamic House of Israel. Thank you all for watching. Um, this is about today. We're going to talk about the animal archetypes, the animal symbols of different nations, different people and the nature of those people. We're also going to look at the nature of the, of the Israelites um, and different races and different people. We're going to talk about the good. We're going to talk about the bad. We're going to give the warning um, and we're going to give the glad tidings. Um, I seek refuge with the law against the shaitan, the rejected one. And um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna share my screen. I'm not gonna do that. All right, the animal archetypes of races and people, scriptural study. All right, man, I could have went on and on. This might be a long one. I could have went on and on and on. I could have did a hundred slides on this. It's just some of the stuff I didn't get to really cover, but this is going to be pretty good. I give you a little extra, too. All right, today's agenda, we're going to go over Adam through Noah, animal symbolism. We're going to talk about the star and the sons of Elohim, the man's original nature, the new era of animal symbolism, Abraham's animal type and his children's animal type, his grandchildren and children, Isaac's children animal type is a light nature conclusion and we have some stuff in the middle so let's go ahead and get started all right adam adam's an uh, animal type the first animal type for human beings was the white cow and behold a cow sprung forth from the earth and this cow was white now we're going over we're going to use the book of enoch um uh, in the in the eighties, right here is eighty four. So we we read it from the book of Enoch. Enoch eighty four five, the black heifer, then struck the red one and pursued it over the earth. So in the beginning of creation, the primary animal type was the cow. So see right here the black heifer, and when we use colors, it's not talking about race. It doesn't mean that uh, Cain was black and and Abel was red. It has nothing to do with race. All right. Or the white cow means a white person. No, it has nothing. We're not talking about that. The color has nothing to do with race. So the black cow represents Cain. And the red cow represents Abel. And we see the black cow kill the red cow. All right. So we all right. So afterwards, a female heifer, that's Eve, sprung forth. And with it, another heifer, one of them was black and one was red. The black heifer then struck the red one. We already talked about that. So the next heifer, and after this, I saw that many cows proceeded forth resembling him and following after him. So this is Cain and Cain's descendants. Cain multiplied. So now we're, we're, we're living in the, in the era of, of, of cows. Okay, so here, genealogy of Adam. Afterwards, she, she calved another white cow, that's Seth. And again, calved many cows and black heifers. So these is, after Seth, you had a line of black cows, black heifers, many cows. All right, Methuselah. All right, in my sleep, also I perceived a white bull, which in like manner grew and became a large white bull. So after Seth, you had Enos. After him, many white bulls, women, many white cows came forth resembling him. So remember, Enos um, was the first one to call upon the name of the Lord. And the people after him was, was like him. 
and they began to calf many other white cows which resembled them and followed each other all right so this seems like this was a pretty good time because you have plenty of white bulls all right people live very long So now, something's going to change. The son of Elohim, um, Azazel, in the book of Elam. When I am, I'm not talking about the creator. When I say Elohim, I'm talking about angel, angels. It's a plural. I'm not talking about the most high God. I'm talking about angel, son of angel, son of Elohim. Again, I looked attentively while sleeping and surveying heaven above. And behold, a single star fell from heaven, which being raised up, ate and fed among the cows. So this star, a star represents symbolism, a son of Elohim. And this in the book of Enoch was Azazel. He was the first to come down. He was the first to come down and live among human beings. All right. Remember, it says, which being raised up. And we're going to talk about that. So this angel came down before the other sons of Elohim came down and had sex with the daughter with the daughters of men. Now let's look at it more. Now this also correlates with Agun. Agun is a Arisha. Azazel and Agun is the same person. Azazel taught men. To make swords, knives, shields, breastplates, and taught them metalworking, taught them war. Agun, also the same thing, taught mankind metalworking. He shared the gift of ironworking with men, taught them magic, hunting, warfare. All right. Agun, this is the Orishas. The Orishas were real. All right. The Arishas came down. They are the sons of Elohim. They came down and they taught mankind. All right. But they were not the obedient ones. Now, let me show you something. Keep that point in your head. Let me show you something real quick. Give me a second. This is going to get really interesting. Let me show you something. All right, the Arisa Agun is referred to as Asin Imal, chief among the Arisas, one of the first deity to walk the earth. It was with his, uh, what is that? That he cleared a path through the thick, impenetrable bush on earth. Then the first Arisha were trying to inhabit it. So the Orishas, the sons of Elohim, was trying to penetrate, get to earth. And Agun was the first one down and teach metal. So the Yoruba people, they're, they're, they're right. The Orishas, but the Orishas are the sons of Elohim that disobeyed. He is known as the owner of iron and steel. In fact, all metals and all allo alloys are owned by him, according to them. Blacksmith, ironworking, road work. All right. So he is equivalent to Mr. Azazil. All right. And in the Yoruba, um, tradition, he was cast in earth. And in the scriptures, Agun, I mean, in the scriptures, Azazel was cast into the earth. He was locked up for teaching mankind how to fight against each other, war. And he was he prepared the women to wear eyelashes and look very beautiful for the other Arishas that was going to come down and have sex with them. And all those Arishas, they were locked up 
They had children, those children of the Nephilim. That's who you call ancestors. That's who they call the ancestors because they are kin to us because the Orishas came down, had sex with the daughters of men, it came down in human form, had sex with the daughters of men and had these giants called Nephilim. The Nephilim was destroyed by the flood. Those spirits, by, I think it's 15% of those spirits was allowed to stay here. And that's your ancestors that they worship because they are half, they, they're not half, they're half sons of Elohim, half human. So they are kin to mankind. They are, they are our ancestors. And they have a super, uh, they have a, um, yeah, superhuman kind of spirits. Those are your curse shayateens. All right. They're not jinns. They're the cursed shayateens. They were sons of Elohim. They're, I, I, I'll get into that one in, in the next slide. So now we see a match. Also, Agun is the same as Azil. As Azil and Agun is the same, but I'm not going to go too far in this. I'll do a whole nother lecture on this. It's the same as Osiris, the one that was raised, came down here, lived among men, taught them, taught them metalworking. All right. But we'll get into that. I, I didn't really want to get into that one. Let me see. Get to it. All right, so we made that connection. So now, when the Yoruba priests, when they, when they, when they sacrifice and do things for a goon, a goon is locked up. A goon is not even here. Even in their literature, a goon is not here. All right, they're dealing with shayatins. They're dealing with the, the nephilim. They got drowned. Their spirits are still on the on the earth. They're not even dealing with a goon. A goon, a goon got locked up <laughs> a long time ago. Sons of Elohim came. They are the Orishas. After that, I perceive other large and black cows. And behold, all of them changed their stalls and pastures. While their young began to lament one with another. So now these Orishas, these sons of Elohim came down teaching mankind magic iron working how to how to fight against each other how to make swords to kill each other they changed their stalls they changed their pastors they changed their teaching they changed who who led them now they're being led by these 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 sons of the disobedient sons of elohim again i looked in my vision and surveyed heaven when behold i saw many stars which descended and projected themselves from heaven to where the first star was into the midst of these young ones while the cows were with them feeding in the midst of them all right so now now check this out and when the sons of mary was presented as an example immediately your people laughed aloud and they said, are your gods better or is he? They did not present this comparison except for argument, but they are a people prone to dispute. Isa is a son. He was telling everybody he was a son of Elohim. Not of the most high God, but the one of the little angels on the level of Azazel, on the level of the Arisha, on the level of of the ones that disobeyed and came down here. He didn't disobey. But they're not the only ones. It's, it's more. They just they were just a group that disobeyed. So you see that these 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 Israelites who were worshiping, probably worshiping uh, the Orishas. The Orishas have got different names in different cultures. They're the same. Different cultures got different names for them. Same beings. You know what I'm saying? I think you know, you know, why why are we why are we dealing with Isa? You know, I, I, you know, a goon on the same level. But a goon is locked up. <laughs> Azazel. 
and many more of them are locked up. Okay, so Issa is being compared to these, well, the name, we want to call them Baal, whatever you want to call them, to these Orishas, the sons of Elohim, because he was equal. He was a son of Elohim as well. So if you're Yoruba, you're like, you know, well, why am I messing with, if I was a pagan, I'm not a pagan. Now, why am I messing with Issa, you know? We got these Orishas up in the day, they sons of Elohim. All right, but Europe don't know that most of the, the jokers that they worshiping are locked up. They worship a shared teams. Horses, horses equals sons of Elohim in human form. I looked at and observed them when behold, they all acted after the manner of horses. The sons of Elohim came down, they they transformed into humans or they entered humans. And they acted like horses and began to approach the young cows, that's the women, all whom became pregnant and brought forth uh, now elephants, camels, donkeys. These are the Nephilim. Elephant, camels, donkeys. See, the elephant is very big, like a giant. Camels are very tall. I don't know about donkeys, all right? <laughs> all right, so now when we see horses, we know it's talking about the ones that came down. And now we know it talks about elephants, camels, donkeys. It's talking about the children of these beings. So let's cross-reference. Horses and cow. You go to Revelations. I looked and there before me was a white horse. His rider held a bow. So you got the four horsemen. The white horse, the red horse, the black horse, the pale horse. So now we know where the horses are. These are these shepherds from heaven coming to, um, these are spiritual forces that back these people. Horse, heavenly spiritual power. All right. Quran chapter two. We talked about the cow. Chapter two is called the cow. In the Quran, chapter six is called the cattle. It's called that for a reason. Because the original animal type of mankind was the cow. The cow also was made in heaven and sent down. All right. It's a sacrificial animal. Nephilim, the Nephilim are half human. They're half human, half son of Elohim. Right now, they are spirits, cursed spirits. Most of them got locked up. The sun got locked up. But the Nephilim, a portion of them, was able to stay on earth for the disbelievers to be possessed and be led astray by them. They're the cursed Shaitans. Not the not not even the gins. They're the shea, they're the cursed shea teens. They're not that's, that's different from gins. And they are genetically kin to us. They are that's what that's what the, the when they say worship your ancestors, that's what they talk about. They're not talking about your mom and daddy, they're talking about the Nephilim because they are old ancestors. All right. And we I can have a whole segment on that. I looked. And observe them. When behold, they all acted after the manner of horses and began to approach. All right, we already talked about that. Now, is it a coincidence that the elephant and the donkey is used for symbols of the Democratic and Republican Party? That's just a little. That's just a little trivia thing. The donkey is the the symbol of the Democrats, and the elephant is the symbol of the Republicans. These are Nephilim, cursed team spirits. All right. That's just a little trivia thing. Isn't that weird? <laughs> so now when it says white man, it's not talking about the white man. <laughs> okay. It's not talking about a race. It's just symbolism. So white man in the book of Enoch equals angels. Again, I perceived them when they began to strike 
and to swallow each other. That's the elephants and all of them, the Nephilim. And the earth cried out. Then I raised my eyes a second, second time towards heaven and saw in a vision that behold, there came forth heaven as it were the likeness of white men. One came forth from thence and three with him. These are the four, Michael, Uriel, Raphael, Gabriel. Uriel came to Enoch and revealed the book of Enoch. Uriel was the angel that revealed the book of Enoch to Enoch, Uriel. Okay. So Gabriel is, is the angel. He's over paradise. He's over the serpents. He's over the cherubim. All right. And he also brings the sword. He can he brings the sword and he can make different groups fight against each other. He can give you the sword and give you power to fight against your enemies. Military power and, and might. Then of them drew his sword and gave it to the elephants, camels, asses, the Nephilim, who began to strike each other. And the whole earth shook on account of them. Gabriel caused them to fight amongst each other and kill each other before the flood. So before the flood, there was there was. Battling against each other. Same thing is going to happen in this day and time. If we get right, children of Israel, the creator is going to send an angel and make the Chinese fight against the Americans. The Americans fight against the, the not well, the, the European powers fight against the Iran and they're just going to fight against each other. It's easy to put it in their heart to, to do that. It's easy for Allah. Ain't no sweat. So Noah, he was born. Then one of those four, Uriel, went to the white cows and taught them a mystery. While the cow was trembling, it was born and became a man. So Noah was born as a cow, but he became a man. Noah cursed. He said, he was able to curse people <laughs> and it come to pass. He was he was a like to Elohim, like to Elohim, born a cow, and fabricated for himself a large ship. All right, and then Noah gave birth to three cows. All right, so Noah he was doing sacrifices. He was you know had the power to curse people and stuff. So let's recap. Original man, animal archetype was the cow. Adam, white cow. Cain and Abel, black, white cow. Said the Enos, white cows. Many cows are produced. Original world was made up of cows. Man was created to be, their nature is like unto the cow. All right, and we'll go into that in a minute. We'll go deeper into that. All right, this is before. The other animal, the lion and the, the birds and the, the sheep, we was originally created to be all cows. Okay. Man's original nature. Let me explain. Let's look at the cow. The cow has a supreme, supreme memory, spatial recognition. They have strong bonds with each other, partnership. You in in the cat in the nature of a cow, you have one leader and you imitate that leader. All right. The leader dictates the behavior. All right. Leader is an example that they emulate. That's how cows work. If you see cows in the pasture, they is you have one that's dominant, and, and if he runs, everybody else run. All right. And if the leader is not followed, then the cows isolated from the herd. They're very kind of cultish. Cow has to network to be accepted. They have to work their way into the group. They have strong maternal bonds, lifelong bonds, and they're 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 they the 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 female the female cows they nurture each other's babies. All right, a calf could go to any of the mothers and get suckled. All right, the maternal bond is very strong with cows. So, Ibrahim was the imam. He was the leader of mankind. 
what was his animal archetype? All right. And during his time, the era of the cows, Ibrahim, his animal archetype was a cow. So when he was living, his people emulated him. Nimrod, heir of the cows. All right. These are all cows. They have one leader and they imitated that leader. That's the heir of the cows. That's how it was back then. Oops. Um, even Ibrahim's father, they were going to put him, then they want to put him in the fire. They were caught strong. You you follow what that leader say, or you get kicked out of the out of the out of the herd. That's how cows, that's how they do things. So the flood killed the cattle, the elephants, the camels, the donkey. Then you have a new era. You have an era where you're gonna we we move it from being cows into all these different type of animals after the flood. Then began the wild beasts and the birds to bring forth. Of these, the different kinds assembled together. That's the Tower of Babel. They assembled together. You got the lion, the wild boar, the foxes, all right, all the unclean birds, all these different animals. We're moving away from the cow. Now we're being diverse. Okay. And these are the archetypes. The Philistines are later on is going to be called fox. So they must have been a, a the 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 way the Philistines look must have existed before the Philistines came about. Canaanites, the wild boar. All right. Egypt later on. Is 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 called the wolves, the Mizraim. So Abraham, then the white cow was born in the midst of them. So Ibrahim was a strong, strong, probably a bull. Now let me tell you about the bull. The bull ain't nothing to be messed with. You think the lion is the king of the jungle. <laughs> Not well, lions don't live in jungles, but you think the lion is the king. A bull is a powerful animal. A lion will not run up on a bull. Not one-on-one. -on -one. They have to have about four or five of them to take a bull down. So the bull, I know the gorilla is very powerful, but the bull is, is up. It's one of the top three strongest animals in the world. All right? There ain't no wolf will go come and tear up no bull. They're going to have to gang up on him. Not one-on-one. -on -one. Bull is very powerful. Abraham wasn't a sheep. He was a bull. All right, so we're moving on. Now, Abraham is going to give birth. All right. Um, and they began to bite each other. Even after the flood. The white bull was born in a mist. And then the white bull is going to give birth to a wild donkey. I know the Israelites are going to like this one. A wild donkey and a white cow. And many wild. Let's see who, let's see who Abraham, Abraham's children. Here's Abraham's children. Ishmaelites are wild donkeys. Isaac was the last white bull. He's the last white bull that we're going to have. This is the end of the era. Isaac was the end of the era of the of the um of the cows. Okay? And then the other donkeys are Keturites, Keturah children from Abraham. So Abraham had a lot of donkeys, wild donkeys. We're going to look at the nature of the Ishmaelites and the nature of the Midianites. We already know the nature of Isaac. Nobody ain't gonna mess with no bull. Okay. 
And he emulated Abraham and did exactly what Abraham told him to do. Let's look at the nature of this, of this donkey. Donkeys are extremely territorial. Donkeys can protect sheep. Now, if you have a sh if you have sheep, a herd of sheep or goats, you could put them in in the wilderness, and and all you need is one donkey, and that donkey will protect them, protect the sheep from the dogs, the fox, coyotes. We talk bad about Ishmael. But Israelites, you already know who Israelites are. Israelites are sheep. Ishmael can protect the Israelites. All you need is one donkey. Look that up. You take a donkey. If you got sheep, you take one donkey, put it with the sheep, and the donkey will protect the sheep from dogs, fox, uh, coyotes, wolves. You ain't even got to be there. The, the, the donkey, the wild donkey will get them up out of there. Will get all the, the prey up out of there. They're not afraid of no wolves. They're not afraid of no dogs. They're not afraid of no fox. They're not afraid of any of that. Now, the bad thing about these wild donkeys, <laughs> they're extremely territorial. Now, they may attack the sheep. They're that. They're that. You know, they might. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll, they'll call a jihad on you. <laughs> they will Fulani. Um, they'll put a jihad on you in a minute. <laughs> you worshiping idols, and yes, they are protectors of the sheep, but they also will attack the sheep <laughs> if they just they get they they're very territorial. All right, that's the nature of the black Ishmaelites and the Midians, Midianites. All right. It was perfect, beautiful science that the creator gave that Quran to Ishmael. That was perfect science. And the, Ish the Israelites should have fell in line. They would have got protection. The Ishmaelites destroyed Rome. When Muhammad was here. And out them. They couldn't do nothing with. They couldn't do nothing with, with the Israelites when they was when they was reading that Quran and it was on point. They couldn't do nothing with them. They couldn't do nothing with that wild donkey. <laughs> and the sheep should have got under them and got protection, because the wolves and the foxes will have their way with the sheep. They won't do that to the to them donkeys. Now Isaac, the white boy, they gave birth. Isaac gave birth to Esau and Jacob. Jacob was a sheep. Esau was a wild boar. Then the white cow, which was born, brought forth a black wild boar and a white sheep. That's why I told you black, that, that doesn't mean skin color, nothing like that. Because we know Esau was red. All right. So it has nothing to do with skin color. All right. So. Jacob was not a, a white bull. Esau was not a bull. Now we finna look at the nature of the wild boar, the pale Arab, the desert Arab. Now the wild boar has a predator. The wolves, the fox. They eat boars. So the pale Arab better be careful with that white man. Because the white man hunts, they they like to hunt wild boars. All this Iraqi freedom and stuff—they like going. They like be careful, 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 ah, careful, middle Middle Easterners. Because your animal type is a wild boar, and you have enemies. They want to eat you alive. Nature of the Edomite, Middle Eastern Arab. This is their nature. The wild boar is a master of ambush. Yep, some act crazy and do the suicide bombing, not all. <laughs> if threatened, the wild boar charge into the battle without thinking. Brute. Even the word ambush, Arab. You see that? 
Arab. To set an ambush. That's what the word Arab means. An ambush. An ambush. Ma Rab. Ambush. That's what the wild boy does. It just run up on you. The Sunnis teach that Jesus will arrive to break the cross and kill the pigs. Now you see what the pigs are. The pigs is the false desert Arab Hadithian Islam. The cross is the Pauline Christianity. Esau's Islam, Esau will kill the pigs and break the cross. Now you, now since, since you got to go to the earlier scriptures and now you know, okay, the Arab animal type is the wild boar. <laughs> That's what it means by pigs. But Esau going to deal with them. Now we see that. Now we see it. All right. Well, the ones that, that want to ambush and act the fool and not think and chill out and come as friends. All right. The nature of the Caucasian, the Europeans. The nature of the Caucasian, the Europeans. Birds of prey. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just telling the truth. Afterwards, I saw the vision that all the birds of heaven arrived, eagles, aves, kites, ravens. The eagle instructed them all. They began to devour the sheep to pick out their eyes. See, they picking out their eyes with false doctrine to make them blind. Giving them false teaching. Blinding the sheep and to eat up their bodies, making them eat unclean foods. Pork. All right. So they they, they, done, they done made them blind. The sheep are blind and they messed it up their bodies. The sheep then cried out for their body, for their bodies were devoured by the birds. And I also cried out and groaned in my sleep against the shepherd, which overlooked the flock. We'll talk about them shepherds later. And I looked while the sheep were eating up by the dogs. By the eagles, by the kites, they neither left them their body nor their skin. See their dry bones now, nor their muscles. They now we look at when Ezekiel talk about the dry bones. How did they become dry bones? Somebody must have ate them. <laughs> he talks about the dry bones. Now we see how they became dry bones because of these predators. Until their bones alone remain, until their bones fell upon the ground and the sheep became diminished. Slavery. When they put you in slavery, they put you in bondage. When they oppress you, they're just eating you away. When they give you false doctrine, they're plucking your eyes out, destroying you. Messed up food. They are a predator to the sheep. Now, let me be nice. Let me be nice. There are dogs that are good in nature. You have birds. Okay. You have little nice little dogs. And if you're raised, if is raised amongst the dogs, they won't mess with you like that. Okay. And I think if you're raised among the wolves, well, I don't know if the wolves will mess with you. But if they don't know you and you're not a part of their uh, flock, not flock, but they're um, what they call dogs, what they have, wolf pack, they're wolf packs. If they don't know you like that, they'll get you. They're over there bombing people and acting the fool because they don't know them. They're not going to mess with you because they grew up with you. So I guess Martin Luther King know what he was doing. Like, we, we don't need to go by us. We need to grow up with these jokers. So, because if we go over there by ourselves, they're they going to tear us up. Integrated, be right beside them. Be a part of the, we'll be a part of the wolf pack. <laughs> Even though we're sheep. 
Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about this in a minute. Birds of prey, dogs, wolves, foxes. Natural predators to the sheep and even natural predators to the wild boars. So be careful, Middle Eastern. They're predators of the wild boars as well. Nature of the sheep. Now we're finna get into it. Sheep. Who are the sheep? The sheep are the children of Israel. Let me see. Let me see some. Let me see some. I don't want to get into that yet. Do I have a verse? I thought I had a verse. Okay, I don't have a verse. Should have a verse. Okay, well, I, I showed you the other verse, so we're good. They must now. The sheep must see five sheep together before they join. If they see two sheep, they won't join the herd. That's how sheep are. But if they see a crowd of people, even if I mean if, if a crowd of people is teaching, they go go. They'll come over there and see what's going on. That's how sheep are. That's the nature of a sheep. But if it's just two people, even if they're telling the truth, they ain't nah. They want to go, they go where the crowd is at. <laughs> and that's the nature. These are these are the Israelites. Also, rams, male sheep, they headbutt each other all day. <laughs> so when you see black men debating, just headbutting each other, calling each other niggas. And nigga ain't nothing. Nah, 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 nah. And then the next second, they're friends. They'll cuss each other out, and then they're friends. The next, in about five minutes, they're friends. The next day, they're friends. Wolves don't do that. Wolves are family oriented. Dogs love the wolf pack. Now we might think a wolf and a dog is bad, but they 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 band together against any enemy. Now, rams, they do band together against predators. They band together. But when, when they just chilling, they go headbutt each other all day long. They herd together to protect them from predators. Isolation is dangerous against predators. The black, black people don't like to be alone. They're social. Now, the, the, the dangerous thing is a sheep can be led by a dog. <laughs> Shepherd dogs. So when I'm thinking, you ever heard the, the, the term, if a white man said, they'll believe it. <laughs> you know, they, they should look, look at this. Look, this white man said we Israelites. Look at this. They'll send me video. Look, the white man said it. The sheep will follow the dogs. The dogs hurt cheap. <laughs> so I need to get me a white boy. I'm going to teach this white boy what to say. And I'm going to have him teach it. He'll get everybody. <laughs> I need to get me. I need to get me a shepherd dog. That's what I need. So that's the dangerous thing about it. The sheep listen to the dogs. <laughs> They'll move when the dogs tell them to move. The nature of the black man is the ram. Oof. Oof. <laughs> that is, I'm going to play this video. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be quiet and I want to play this video for y'all. Let me see how I'm going to play it. Let me click right here. I'm going to have to stop share. Let me play this video. Let me stop share. One second, I'm trying to get this video going. So now you know the nature of the black man, of the sheep. When you see them argue and they ram each other, eh, don't worry about it. Like we.
you know, the nation is what I'm saying. The white man is the devil. The nature, he's the devil by nature. Yeah, he's a, he got, it's different types. It's, you got different type of birds. Their animal type is different birds and different wolves and fox and sheep. And you can condition. It's, it's more complex than just they're the devil. But they, it is, they're predators. <laughs> we never talked about the nature. What's the nature of the Negro? <laughs> A ram. <laughs> this. Hard right, when you're bucking up against each other. In the Canadian Rockies. I don't know. I don't know. A battle of Olympic proportions. All right. Let me share my screen. I want y'all to see this. I got a little ram in me. I be ramming it every now and then I'm ram. I got a little bit, little bit of that in me. <laughs> okay, I see what I gotta do. Okay, let me see. Okay, I see it's on the screen. Let me make it bigger. Yeah, check this out. Check this out. This is our nature right here. This is the black, not the black woman, now the, the 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 female sheep. There, they just sit back and just just bad, bad all day, bad, bad. They chill, but that ram. Let's see what they do all day. Here we go. Make their mark. <laughs> the prize is all right. I think that's enough. With that, all right. <laughs> Let me put this on. Let me. I got. I got some. That mean they be talking shit. Yes, they all day. That's what the rounds do. All day talking shit. <laughs> Hold on. She told him he ain't nobody. <laughs> That's true. Yep. <laughs> but hey, eventually, eventually, you know, he's going to get her. They like the, what, the alpha male, huh? The drug dealer. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm being mean. They like the drug dealer. <laughs> They're going to shoot each other up and she's going to get. They're still alive. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me, let me. Let me finish this up for y'all. I'm almost done. Let me share my screen. I just thought this was interesting. The most I gave us those natures good or bad i think it's i think it's a lot of wisdom in it now you can't turn into another animal you know but right now the nature of the sheep reacts to other sheep's emotions that's what sheep do if another like if another sheep is crying they act based off him they even it, like if it's not even true, like let's be the media can like really tell us what to do. We go by the emotions. <laughs> All right. If a woman come up and say he he beat me up, you beat him. What did you do? We don't we we go by instinct. <laughs> Weary of unfamiliar things. All right. Weary of unfamiliar things. We have a flocking instinct, even if it causes their death. <laughs> we will follow the flock, even if it causes death, y'all. <laughs> All right. Like there are some sheep that will, they will walk off a cliff with it following the flock. If they all walk off the cliff, it won't the other walk away. So it's a, it's a positive and it's a negative. If we're doing, if we're doing right as a people and we have the right shepherd, we could go beyond. 
because the sheep are gonna do they gonna they're gonna do it man but if they got the wrong leaders man it could be ugly <laughs> docile non-aggressive non-aggressive by nature docile non-aggressive rams can't be trusted they will ram you at any time real rams even if, if you got your children around rams you have to watch your back because they just they just ram you i mean human beings if you're if you're around them you gotta be careful all right head butting establishes i should say in hierarchy they're social animals oh here's the verse right here enoch 88 and that sheep brought forth 12 sheep so the 12 tribes of israel and that's when we start getting into trouble we became sheep jacob was doing his thing and then the 12 tribes of israel i mean they bucked against joseph put him sent him off to the wolves in the slavery <laughs> that was terrible um but we was in egypt with joseph we had pasture we was in our own little land we were doing good we had a little pasture and then the wolves, the Egyptians, put us in slavery. And then the Most High led the sheep into the wilderness. All right. Now, for the sheep, they have to accept messengers. If they don't accept messengers, it's ugly. <laughs> okay. It's ugly. Because our people, I don't care. I mean, I'm 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 gonna humble myself. I'm a sheep, okay. I'm gonna humble myself, okay. I know everybody saying, "I ain't no sheep," and yeah, we. Uh, I'm gonna humble myself. A lot say we sheep, we sheep. <laughs> if we deny the messenger, the messengers, then we're gonna be following Baal, worshiping Jesus. <laughs> we're gonna be into all kind of mess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We will be into all kind of mess because that's that's the nature. We like we like groups. We like being around each other. Warning for scattering the sheep. Jeremiah 10, 21, for the shepherds have become senseless and do not seek the Lord. Therefore, they have not prospered and all their flock is scattered. Jeremiah 23, 1. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture declares the Lord. Therefore, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says about the shepherds who tend my people. You have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not attended to them. Behold, I will tend to you for the evil of your deeds, declares the Lord. So shepherd equals a pastor. That's why you got the word pastor. Y'all already, already know that pastor or leader. Okay. So even the creator calls us sheep. The Christians been my pastor said this and my pastor said that. And it's and don't 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 treat our people wrong because of their nature. Don't be like, oh, the sheep are dumb. No, sheep are wonderful animals. If that's our nature, we need to accept it and we need to learn how to work with it. We need to develop better shepherds. We need to get our children and, and develop better leaders, better rams to lead the sheep. We know that's our nature, so we need to work with it. We need to work with it. Um, and don't um, abuse the sheep. All right? Don't abuse the sheep. And the food given to the sheep is knowledge, is the knowledge. That's the food. Is the wisdom. That's how you feed the sheep. And it's not again. It's not bad. Don't treat them. Don't treat them bad. We just gotta. We gotta work with them. That they're, they're not evil. That's just our nature. Just like everybody, the pale Arab is the wild boar. And if you want to go look up the type in the nature of the wild boar, you will see how they treat each other. Are they family oriented? Do they protect each other? And you'll learn all about them and you'll know how to deal with them. So you're not gonna tell the sheep nothing against their pa pastor or against their moray 
And that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Or so it gets their email. I'm gonna go I, seriously. I had them, I had a lot of them say, hey, I, I'm about to go, I'm about to go tell my email. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> and it's all good. I already know the nature. And, it, and it's good. It's all right. We just need to get the email right. The shepherd. And we'll be all right. Um, I don't one time when I was young, 16, 17. Um, I was talking to this lady, um, older lady. I was at my friend's house and their mother. I was young. And um, man, I, she was talking about the Bible. I was just like, boom, you know, I was like telling her the real deal, you know, say how we say by faith when in the revelation, I think chapter 20, 21, it says we'll be judged by our works. And she was like, she's like, get out. She told me to get out. Then she called me up and told me to come over. And guess who was there? A pastor. <laughs> she told me to come back. She kicked me out of the house and then she called me and said, hey, come on back over. It's all right. I came over. Her pastor was right there. You think I was afraid? <laughs> I told him, I pulled out the scriptures and told him something too. Get out. I, I, just, just get out. You know? But she had her pastor waiting for me. He had a suit on and stuff like that. Just waiting for me. I said, no, nah, it's you know, we'll we'll we save, you know, it says we're gonna be judged by works, not just faith alone. It says it in the book of Revelations. Conclusion. Will we ever return to the era of being cows? All right. The era of being cows is a powerful animal. They just chill, you know? Yes, right here. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud. This is Malachi chapter, I'm sorry, Malachi chapter 3, no, chapter 4, verse 4. Okay? Um, ye and all that do wickedly stumble and the day, that great and dreadful day, that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. Yes. So it will be a time where we will turn back into calves. All right. No more sheep. <laughs> and ye shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the sole of your feet in the day that I shall do this, said the Lord of hosts. Remember ye the laws of Moses, my servant, which I command unto him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. So it's going to become a time when we're going to be calves of the star. All right, calves of the star. Now in the book of Revelation, Esau is called, he's called a lamb. A lamb is a baby sheep. OK, that that shows that he is not God because he's a lamb. <laughs> Just like everybody else. <laughs> everybody else is a little sheep, little lambs. All right. But he's also. The Lion of Judah. So, you know, he got a little dual late nature. OK. Um. So, yeah. We want to be back like Adam. Our original nature. Is like the cow, the white cow. Abraham, the white cow. All right, let's see what we got here. The end. All right. <laughs> I hope y'all like that. Um, I hope that was all right. Man, I can do a part two for real, but I, I'm I'm gonna leave it at that. Cause I can get it. I gotta get it to the Lion of Judah. I get it. I get it to all that stuff. Lions. Uh, but I think that was over thirty something slides. So I didn't want to make it too long. I could have just kept going on and on. Any questions before I close out? Any comments? Questions? Okay. So now. 
go to your people when you deal with the pale arrow, when you deal with the Caucasian, when you deal with the original Ishmaelites, when you deal with the Negro, you know what you're dealing with. You we we have to go by the rules. That's the rules. We we're not we we can't call them dumb. You dumb sheep. We can't do that. We we gonna work. We gotta work with it. We gotta work with it. So we gotta be shepherds, and we gotta we gotta make sure we treat the flock good, feed the flock, protect the flock, give the flock good information, and make sure as long as we're alive, we're out there being leaders. And leading the people. Because if we're not out there leading them, they're going to follow something. They're going to follow a gang. They're going to follow it to the death. They're going to follow Hebrew Israelites. And, and they ain't no other choices. They're gonna, like a lot of the Sunni Muslims, like we, we're not going to go out. Um, what they say? We're not going door to door like the Jehovah Witness to do that. You know? No. You If you're a wild boy, that'll work. But Sunni, black Sunni Muslims, we are sheep. We're not wild boars. We need leaders. We need imams everywhere. We have to have leadership. Our people being Buddha, <laughs> Hinduism, our people being all, <laughs> okay? So all that, you don't want to give dawa, black Sunni Muslims. We're not, we are a different nature people. We are the sheep with the woolly hair. Look at this woolly hair. We got woolly hair like sheep. We got to be out there. We need it. I mean, I might not agree with everything the Nation of Islam brought forth, but it was thousands of ministers. We need ministers everywhere. Cultivating. Cultivating the sheep. And they won't be in those gangs. They won't be getting into trouble. But they will wander, wander off. If you don't feed them, they're going to wander off. They like information. They like knowledge. They'll go get it from anywhere. <laughs> that's the food. So that's that's the mission, man. We're going to try to groom some righteous shepherds to lead the flock, protect the flock from the fox. And all you haters of Ishmael, you, you need a donkey. <laughs> need a donkey or two to protect you from the from that evil fox. They ain't put them in slavery. Did they put the donkey in slavery? Nope. <laughs> and shoot, Fal the Falani, um, Hauser, all them joking, but they had us running through. <laughs> but left and right, left and right, it was jihad upon jihad upon jihad. But we don't want them to put jihad on us. We want them to protect us. We want them, like, hey, we Muslims too, man. You ain't got to do all the jihad. We good, all right? We just believe in the Torah and we believe in the early scriptures. We ain't got to, it ain't got to be all like that. But be careful, because if we turn into calves, that bull, a bull, a, a tear a donkey up, <laughs> okay? That's now a bull to tear a donkey up. <laughs> a bull is a fierce animal. Um, but yeah, but right now we're sheep. So um, it says speak to the people of the book, you know, in a good manner. They go, they go come to you with a pastor. Say yes, I know you love your pastor. But let, it's okay. Let me tell you something. I, you know, there's a flock over here. You know, be be nice to them. So now that's supreme knowledge. We know the nature. That's psychology. We know the nature of human beings. We know the nature of human beings. All right. If uh, y'all ain't got nothing else to say, I'll continue with my day. I hope that was pretty good teaching. Thank you, brother. Deep. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And next week, I mean, 
And um, I'm not promising that every week is going to be like deep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna feed the people. It might just the one, I mean, I got more, but like years from now, it might just go here and just read Psalms or something. We might just talk. So every, I ain't promising everything will be deep. <laughs> okay. What we got? Hold on. What you got, sister? Great thing. Think about those animals. They all live in harmony on a, on a farm. Oh, that's true. They do all live in harmony on a farm. Well, that's Islam right there, right? Okay. That's true. Donkey, sheep, cows, pigs. Yep. But on that farm, don't they have their own little section or do they all live in the same? I don't know. I have to look that up. Can they all live in the same like area? Or do they all need it? Oh, oh, I forgot to tell y'all about donkeys. Let me tell you something else about donkeys. Donkeys, are, I said they're very territorial. Also, donkeys, they stay with their own kind. They're totally against um, going against their own kind. Donkeys. That's a that's a good thing about Ishmael. Now I looked up the Fulani women. They don't allow the Fulani women. Their people, their men, don't allow the Fulani women to go marry other races at all. They're very they 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 if their if their woman go marry somebody else outside of the Fulani, they're ostracized. They're kicked out. They're very territorial. They they love their bloodline. Um, I know the Hauser people. Like, I saw somewhere it says that they, if it's not a Hauser, then you can't, they're not even going to pray unless a Hauser lead it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if a Yoruba, somebody that's, that's Muslim, lead, they're not, you got to be a Hauser to lead the John. They're not even going to play with you. They believe in that bloodline. And that's how the donkey, the donkey is like that. The wild donkey, very territorial. And they also, if they're away from their own kind, the donkey has like a they they get mentally sick. If they're away from their own kind, they get mentally sick. You think we race that donkey races? <laughs> okay. And Ishmael, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You know, it was a it was other donkeys. It was other donkeys. So now, Hebrew Israelites, we all say, Ishmael was a wild donkey. He was a wild donkey. He was, no, man, look up. The donkey ain't all that bad. <laughs> the donkey ain't no punk. The donkey is stronger than the sheep. <laughs> the donkey protects the sheep, Mr. Hebrew Israelite. Look further into that. It's good that Ishmael did that. Ishmael created a bunch of donkeys to protect his children. I mean, to protect the promise. If if um if Jacob, you know, if if Jacob had some problems, he could call his uncle Ishmael, and they, and you know we get it on with them with the Romans with them them wild birds. With them wolves, them 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 fox, call Ishmael up. All right, uh, I'm done, y'all. I think it was a good, I think it was a good bill. Anybody want to come on? Yeah, I think I think I think he was the perfect one to bring the coin. Yep, perfect. And even even um even the pale Arab, even even the Middle Eastern Arab. You know, the, the wild boar, they're going to protect their Quran too. They're going to ambush your butt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're going to protect the Quran as well. They'll give they, they're going to ambush, they'll give their life, okay? <laughs> they'll give their life to protect the Quran. Even them. Um, okay, where we at? Anybody want to come in? Um, I'm going to drop the link. You don't have to come if you don't want to. I'll shut it down if you don't come in. But if you want to, I will give you a chance. And I ain't going to stay on too long, y'all.
think I got the point across. If you want to come in, you can. If you don't, it's all right. No problem. Make sure you like the video for me, please. Share it, please. If you're not um, subscribed, please subscribe. Come to the Facebook. You'll find a lot of sheep. You'll find a lot of... You'll find some wolves. Um, you might find a couple donkeys. <laughs> you might find some lions up in there. You'll find some rams. You'll, oh, you'll find rams. I got a little ram in me too, so I've been uh, ramming it up. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of there. I'm trying to get it to the, to the lion. Lions, they territorial. They chill. I'm trying to be more like a lion than a ram. But I got a little bit of that in me. And I got, I got, I got, I think I got a little bit of donkey too. Little donkey. <laughs> All right. I don't see nobody want to come in. So I appreciate y'all coming. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to do more games. Appreciate you coming. Again, like, share, come to the Facebook group. And have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Peace.